Ciao everyone, I hope you're feeling good today. As you can see, I don't have my mat. We practice only standing postures today. If you do have a yoga mat you want to use, please feel free to unfold your yoga mat. However, if it's really thick, then it can put you out of balance and today is all about our balance. Also, if you have those old mat that you know you fold it and then when you try to unfold it, it actually stay all curled in, you might gonna skip the mat for today and just use your floor. You can keep your socks on if it's not too slippery on the floor. When you're ready to start, please find yourself in a Tadasana, the mountain pose, keeping your feet hips in apart, your arms and your hands relax along your body, and maybe closing your eyes if you're okay with it, otherwise keep a soft, relaxed gaze on the floor in front of you. Take a moment to fully arrive with the body and with the mind. Noticing our posture. Noticing how we are constantly balancing on our two feet. If you bring your awareness all the way down to the contact between the feet and the ground beneath, you might notice as well that we shift the body weight. A bit forward to the toes and then a bit backward toward the heels, toward the sides of the feet. Constantly balancing. And then become aware of your legs, your buttocks, the length of your spine, and the head on top of it. Become aware of your breath now. No need to breathe in any special way, but stay present, following a few of your own inhalation and exhalation. If you have difficulties in finding your own breath, you can place one hand on the belly and the other one on the chest. Perhaps physically feeling this rising and falling sensation of your breath. And then join your palms in front of your heart center, setting your intention for the practice today. Perhaps you can remind yourself, why are you practicing yoga? Why are you doing this? And as a gesture of respect, let's bow in front of ourselves to start. Slowly open your eyes if you haven't already. With the next inhalation, reach up with your arms, maybe looking up. And as you exhale, dive forward into a forward fold, the hands are reaching toward the floor, bending the knees as you need. In any rolling up one vertebra at a time, the head is the last thing coming up. And again, big circle with your arms. And as you exhale, release the arms down, chin toward your chest, start rounding your spine, maybe bending the knees, hands toward the floor. And again, inhaling, unfolding all the way up, circle with your arms, looking up, one last time. Exhaling, releasing your arms down, chin toward your chest, rolling all the way down. And slowly unfolding, and coming up to stand. From your position, place your body weight on the right leg, left knee reaching up any amount, 
open toward the left, so you engage a bit of hip mobility. And then a slow motion as we are on the moon, imagine that there is no gravity. We do a little step back with the left foot. Place your toes on the floor. Your back heel is up, so we need already to balance in here. And if you're struggling, maybe your hips are opening toward the left, then try to separate your feet toward the opposite side. So you will move maybe the right foot a bit more toward the right and the left a bit more toward your left so that your hips are on the same level and will grant you a bit more of balance. From your position as you inhale, reach up with your arms. Keep your arms parallel to each other. You can bend the elbows as needed. Notice if you create tension in between the ears and the shoulders. Maybe you're sinking the neck in. Then try to unstuck that situation. Bending the elbows. You can move a bit the elbows and the shoulders, creating a bit of space in this area of the body. We stay only one more breath in here. Hold in there. And then as you exhale, we complicate a bit the thing, twisting toward our right side, maybe opening the arms on a T-shape. You can always look down on the floor for your stability. Or if the balance is great today, look behind you toward the right hand. And as you inhale, move back toward the center with your torso. The arms are reaching up one more time. As you exhale, we open and twist toward the left side. Again, option to open your arms on a T-shape, maybe looking behind you. Keep the front knee bent. Inhaling back toward the center. Exhaling, stepping all the way forward with that slow movement that we did to enter in this position. So use your hips mobility, slowly coming down on the two feet. Let's see how it goes on the other side. Body weight on the left leg, right knee reaching up. We need a bit of core engagement to not fall all the way toward the left side. The right knee reach up, any amount. Open toward the right side. You move your torso slightly forward. You can use your arms in front of you to help you in this transition. The front leg is strong. Right foot down on the floor. Only the toes, the back heel stays up. The more you press down with your heel, the more you stretch and elongate the back muscles on the right side. So you might want to stay a bit higher up. Of course, you can adjust the distance in between your feet, right and left, but also in between front and back foot. Inhaling, arms reaching up. Again, take a moment here to acknowledge if there are any tension in the shoulders, chest area. Allow a bit of movement. And then come back to stillness, deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist and open toward the left side. Don't go on autopilot just because before we twist first on the right side. I know some of you did it. In and in back toward the center, arms reaching up. Exhaling, opening and twisting toward the right side. Keep your balance here. Look down on the floor if needed. In and in back toward the center. Exhaling, release your hands along your body, stepping forward, that slow movement using the hip mobility to come back to the center. Take a moment here to appreciate the stillness, the steadiness that comes from mountain pose, Chadasana. Maybe you feel even your legs a bit tired already, like, oh, okay, my quads actually worked. For Vikrasana, the tree pose, Let's keep the hands in Namaste. Hold your body weight on your right leg, reaching up with your left knee, open toward the left, and then place your left foot anywhere on the inside of your right leg. So it can be all the way down on the floor, only your left heel is in contact with the right leg. That's fine, you have a bit more support in here. But keep your hips opening, the knees are pointing in opposite direction. Maybe the foot is a bit higher up, if it's on the knee level, just don't press and keep the right knee mobile. So unlock the kneecap. Of course, it can be all the way up here toward the inside of your hips. To challenge your balance a bit more, you can always open your arms on a V shape. Continue to breathe.
and then release your hands in Namaste slowly bring your left knee back towards the center and all the way down in Tadasana mountain pose let's see how it goes on the other side hands in Namaste body weight on the left leg the right knee reach up open toward your right and then position your right foot anywhere on the inside of your left leg try to train your muscle and your muscle memories in doing this exercise without using your hand when you pull your feet or your foot up with your hand you're not really engaging your muscles again option to open your arms on a b-shape Again, notice if you're creating tension here, try to keep space in between the ears and the shoulders. So not this. <laughs> Only one more breath in here, almost done. And then release your hands in Namaste, your right knee back toward the center, and release down. Give a nice shake to your legs if needed. And then let's do a nice step toward the right side with the right leg, rotating the right foot also toward the right. We find ourselves in Warrior 2, Virabhadrasana 2, and I'm separating a bit wider my feet. That means that I have to squat down a bit more, so I'm really opening with my inner thighs. The hips are again opening opposite direction. I have the back heel down on the floor, the, the back foot is kind of 90 degrees, but don't get, don't, don't get too punctual in terms of degrees. You need to adjust the position so that it suits you. The front knee is not going in, just check, have a look if it's going in, try to press outward. That's how we keep this openness in the hips, stretching the tights. So that's what we are trying to do with the legs in Warrior 2. From this position, Nice core engagement, so brace yourself, extending the spine, the crown of the head is reaching up toward the ceiling, we can open the arms on a T-shape. Again, you know now, try to have a bit of space in between the ears and the shoulders. Deep breath in, exhaling, we reverse this warrior. We place the left hand anywhere on the back leg or maybe on the inside of the front hip. The right arm will reach up toward the ceiling, maybe looking up if the neck is fine with that. Option to extend the front leg becomes a bit more intense. And then come back toward the center into Warrior 2. For Parshvokanasana, the extend the side angle, place your right arm on your right knee. Please don't press everything on the front leg, so keep a bit of body weight on the back leg. Again, option to extend the opposite arm over your head. If it's tired or there is any pain in the shoulder, you can always rest the left hand on your buttocks and still opening with your chest. And then moving up, parallel your feet toward the center and turn your left foot toward the left. You find yourself in warrior two on the left side. Again, check with the front knee. Let's work a bit with the shoulders, shall we? Nice breath in. Nice breath out. Breathing in. As you exhale, next time reverse your warrior right hand down either on the back leg or on the inside of the front hip. Opposite arm reaching over the head. Option to extend the front leg. And back toward the center. Parshvokanasana, extend the side angle. Bend in the front knee, left arm on the left knee, maybe opposite arm over your head. Again, keep a bit of body weight on the back leg. Opening the chest over the ceiling. Only one more breath in here. And moving up back to warrior two. Parallel your feet toward the center. Inhaling, arms reaching up, five point star. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Careful here, the feet are pointing out, same direction of your knees. Inhaling, moving up. Exhaling, squatting down. One more, inhale up. Exhale down. Stay here, lift up the right heel. 
stay, lift up the left heel as well. If it's too intense, you're losing the balance too easily, then alternate one heel down, the other one up, and vice versa. We say two more breaths, maybe both heels up, maybe one at a time. Hold here, use the core, and release both heels down. Allow yourself in a forward fold, feet parallel to each other. Swing in right and left. Come back toward the center, slowly unfolding the spine, coming back up. Hop your feet together, coming back to Tadasana. I just turn so that you can see me better. From this position, we step the left foot all the way back. This time placing the back heel down on the floor. We have a short distance in between the feet for pyramid pose variation, Parashvatanasana. Again, if you are struggling here with the balance, please separate your feet, the right foot toward the right, the left foot toward the left. From this position, we're gonna transition into a flying pyramid pose. So we open with our arms, we turn the palms so that they face, they face up and the hands are all the way behind us. From this position, we move a bit more forward, 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 pivoting on our hips, keeping the balance in here, keep the front knee unlocked. Maybe you need to bend it completely, keep your spine straight. And then from here, bend the front knee, moving all the way up with the back leg, coming to warrior three, look down on the floor, Lifting the left foot up any amount, it doesn't have to be super high. Almost done. Lift up with your torso, bending the left knee. And then maybe hugging your left knee, maybe just interlace your hands, maybe under the, the tide, maybe all the way up toward your chest, it depends. Keep the gaze down on the floor for your stability. I just want to give an option for those who are really, really flexible. Maybe you want to extend the left leg. You can always interlace your fingers somewhere under the left leg. And then bending the foot and the knee. And coming back to Tadasana. Take a moment here just to acknowledge how your body is doing right now. Do you feel the energy flowing? Do you feel any area of your body that is asking for a bit more attention? Notice if you found, found this slow sequence difficult or easy enough for you today. Let's repeat it on the other side. Let's step the right foot all the way back with the back heel down on the floor, the front leg is extended, finding your stability in your hips. Extend the arms back, palms facing up. We start pivoting from the hips, moving forward with the torso coming parallel to the floor, looking down on the floor. Again, careful with the front knee, you can always bend the left knee slightly. And then from this position, bend even more the front leg, reaching up with the right foot for warrior three. We need to balance here, looking down on the floor. And then moving up with the torso, the right knee reach up. You can interlace your hands all the way down on your knee, maybe the knee comes closer to your chest. You can extend the right leg any amount. And then release, coming back to Tadasana. Give a nice shake in here, shaking, shaking, shaking. Take a couple of breaths, maybe exhaling through your mouth. And slowly down, coming back to the center. From our position, 
we place the feet together, bending the knees any amount for Utkatasana, the chair pose. Let's give all the energy for these last asanas. The arms are reaching up, keep them parallel to each other, careful with the lower back. So if you're overarching a bit too much, there is pressure on the lower back. Extend slightly more your legs and tilt your pelvis. So protect the core, protect the lower back, arms reaching up. From this position, careful here, look down on the floor. Pass your arms all the way down and back, palms facing up and reach up with your heels carefully here, you don't want to fall forward. And then again, inhale, heels down, arms reaching up toward the ceiling, maybe looking up. Exhale, arm passing down and back, heels moving up. We have two more to go, inhale, reaching up, heels down. Exhale, arms behind you, heels up. One more, inhale, heels down, arms up, exhale, arms down, heels up. And slowly release your heels down on the floor, coming back up, finding your Tadasana, feet, hips and apart. Noticing how it is your breath right now. Maybe it's going a bit faster. And then if it's okay for you, close your eyes and start shifting voluntarily your body weight in a circular movement. So you start giving more body weight to your toes and then to the right sides of the feet, then back toward the heels and then toward the left sides of your feet. Continuing in this movement. If you become dizzy or it becomes too unbalanced, then slightly open your eyes so that there is a bit of light coming in and you can look at the floor for a bit more stability. But don't open wide open your feet if possible. Then change the direction of your circles, still initiating the movement from your feet and ankles and then allowing the rest of your body to respond to this movement. And then start to slow down, coming back to the stillness of mountain pose. Placing your awareness on the feet, grounding yourself in the present moment, wherever you are in this specific moment. Perhaps it can help to visualize new, tiny, green and fresh roots growing from the feet and radicating all the way down on the ground, reaching for the ground, for the earth, giving you the support, the stability and the balance that you need for the rest of your week. knowing that the earth is always there to support you, giving you a soil where to walk on, air to breathe, food to eat and people to love. Gently place your hands in Namaste on your heart center. May all beings be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words and actions contribute somehow to this happiness and freedom for all. Jai. Thank you so much for having practicing with me. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this class and that you feel a bit more grounded and balanced today. I hope to see you soon and I wish you well. Take care. Ciao.